Okay, so someone was asking about throw OSing. They're having trouble with throw OSing. And I said, do you know how to set up the throw situations in training mode? And more or less they said no. So I'm gonna go over what I do to set these up. So we've got a couple of dummy slots we can record into and we can randomize their playback. So let's do a couple of put you in a throw situation scenarios and see how they turn out. Really kind of basic, easy one to practice for is just run up. So let's do a couple run up things. They're all gonna begin the same way, but they all can hopefully trick me. Um, so the way we're gonna start all of these is just with up back from the corner. So there's run up throw. We'll do run up assault. Ah, I'm so. Run up assault. And let's do run up uh, 2A. Okay, so now we can randomly play back between these. And if you watch my inputs on the left side of the screen, you'll see what I'm OSing. Let's just do 180. Oh no! Okay, so one thing you'll notice off the bat is that 1AD is all fine and well until it's not. That and Stantec are both like really, really susceptible really kind of high commitment. You use them in certain situations. Uh, some OS's that might not get you blown up as easily or as hard are 3CAD or whatever your character's anti-air OS is and 2AD or 1A Plink D, which is just, you know, pressing a low. And uh, often you'll still have enough time to recover and block an assault if you do it early. So let's look at let's look at those. I'm gonna do a little bit of three cap. Oh look at that, first time. So that's three cad. And then let's do some one cad. Or one cad. <laughs> one A A D. Um you should have AD macroed somewhere on your controller. Just press A before you press AD. That's it. Do it a little bit early. Uh, maybe too early. That's better. Uh -huh. uh, too early. That's right. So, a couple of things to practice. There you go. 